Okay, this is now the fourth time. I've tried to show you guys in this video how to green the casket top. <laughs> My patience is getting thin. Okay, I've seen a bunch of comments online. This is our kitchen area. Excuse the not so nice background. Um, at least our dishes are clean. Um, <laughs> um, people do and make things different online all the time. Some people will prep containers different and it's all fine. I see comments sometimes like people, you know, going on to other people like they're not doing it right. Everybody's learned to make stuff different. It is what it is. As long as at the end, that arrangement is nice looking, it doesn't matter how people got there. It doesn't matter if people prep or tape a certain way or use this a certain way. It doesn't matter. So, um, on this casket top I made, I used a pipe cleaner on one side and I even used a balloon string on another side just to show like, it doesn't matter. As long as it's in there, you can use tape, you can use binding wire, anything you would need to use that if you're out of stuff, you can figure it out with something to make this arrangement. So um, I strapped a piece of Oasis down in here. Turn you around. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna bring this. See, I just put a piece of blown string, a piece of pipe cleaner. It doesn't matter what you, it doesn't matter what you use. I don't like it when I see other people putting other people down for stuff they've done, especially people who are learning. I, I don't like that. Um, anyway, okay, I'll shut up. All right, so let's we're gonna green this with leather, and then we'll come back through with lemon. This is a one-sided casket top. Um, so. Basically, it's going to be the front right here. And somebody asked me the other day, how come you keep throwing greens to the side? It's because if I see like some mold or bad leaves or something on here, you'll see me rip it off and throw it. It's not that like I'm trying to waste it or anything. It's just it's not um, or it's not the exact piece I need. So like here. This is good, and if I'm not using this in this arrangement, I'll, I'll put it aside. You'll see me put it aside for something else, so. Like this? Yeah, no, not, I'm not using that. So let's get some leather in here. This is a designer's choice casket top. So, it is going to be whatever we want. See this one? Yeah, that's good. That's not. What's up? Oh. Of course the phone's gonna die now. This one, nope. Nope. So yeah. I, I just need to get rid of all that. I like, I rent this piece right here. I'm making actually an entire collection. And this whole piece right here, I need some leather on it. This whole piece right here, um, the casket top is the most important piece out of the entire collection. Maybe not to some people, to me it is. Um, this is going to be going on top of the casket. Um, I have two, both of my husbands passed away and to be honest, this is the only arrangement that I remember out of either of their funerals because people are gonna walk up to the casket 
and they're gonna set their hands on there and they're gonna be looking at this person and this is next to it. They're gonna remember everything that that looked like. In the rest of the room, not so much, but this, this piece is important. So you always wanna make sure that um, that casket top that you send out is on point. You never want to see any of this either. All of this has got to be covered. This is really crappy leather. Have you tried to use any of the leather out of this box? Yeah. Yeah, it's crappy leather. I'm going to have to come through with better leather. You want a different box? Uh, well, I'm going to fill it in with this, but I'll come around and touch it up so you can't see any of this. Sometimes you get boxes that are just not what you prefer to use. But there's nothing you could do about that. Then I'll just use it pretty much on the insides and touch up around the edges where you can't see it. So. Yeah, this is just. Ew. Yeah, can you get another box out, Bill? This is a. That's about as much as I'm gonna put of this. I want some real nice, perfect leather. Okay, so these are nicer. We're gonna use these. I had to go get some. Oh, I had her get me some new bunches of leather because <clears throat> on the casket top, out of any arrangements you're gonna make in a flower shop, this is probably the most important one. Like I said, in that room. This is going to be the one people are staring at the most. And not only that, I can tell you from past experience that this person's spouse is going to remember exactly what that person looked like, exactly what these flowers look like, what they smell like, they're gonna remember how that casket felt on their hands when they were standing there. So this one has got to be on point all the way around. If you've never been in that position, you may not know, but. Okay, so I put the leather in here. We're gonna come back through with some lemon. This is not really an expensive um, casket top, but even if something's not that expensive, you still want to make it as nice as possible for the amount of money that they are spending. Because again, if that was your wife, your husband, you make it like you would make it for your own. But this is an entire collection I'm making. Um, we're making two, I'm making two standing sprays after this and a church spray. This has a banner on it as well, yes? So we're gonna put the banner. Before we start putting any flowers, always put any banners, photos, pictures you make, crosses, anything that the family has requested to go in here, always put those in first because it's gonna take up the space you need for that. And you can place your flowers around it. Okay. 
So if this were a casket top, like a super high dollar casket, or it called for other greens, you would add your other greens next. Um, casket tops have anything from like sword fern, tree fern, mm -hmm. myrtle, all kinds of different mm -hmm. um, greens in there. Like I said, this is just a basic one, so I thought this would be an easy one for you guys to just learn from. Okay. There is a basic um basic casket cup. Okay. When I am done adding the flowers to this. I will cut back through underneath and pull a little bit of greens out to make it um, to make it a little bit longer on this side and this side after I do the flowers. But first banners, then flowers, then um, add the extra greens on the edge. Set it on the end of a table as if it would look on a casket and see how the greens hang. Make sure you can't see any of the casket saddle. If you can, come back through, add a little bit more so you can't see any of it. You want this to kind of hang a little bit toward the head of the coffin casket, sorry. Um, and at the end, bring it out a little bit further toward the foot. <clears throat> but make sure you set it on the edge of a table so you can see how it hangs. And that, this is behind here, so it kind of, everything gets blurred in the video if there's a bunch of greens in there. There's a basic casket top. So yeah, this side I'll pull it out. See this piece of broken leather right here? This is the middle, right in the front. That is not gonna work. Because that, that is an important flower. That is right around the edge of the casket where it's gonna hang. So you need to cover it. When I say on a casket top, make it perfect. Out of all the arrangements going to that funeral, this is the one that needs to be perfect. And there it is, green.